Hey guys, welcome to my channel Zest for Life and welcome to a new video. I'm going to be showing you today how to make the most delicious vegan sesame noodles. So there's something special about this recipe which is that I'm going to be using rice noodles, vermicelli or sometimes I'll use fettuccine. So either shape works, although truthfully I prefer the vermicelli, it's the really really skinny guys. Um, and I use some fresh green vegetables, some mushrooms, which it's optional. If you don't like mushrooms, you can leave them out. You can really incorporate any veggies you like, uh, but with this recipe, my favorite vegetables to use are broccoli, sugar snap peas or snow peas, and mushrooms, and spinach. You can add spinach too, and it's delicious. Um, it's completely filling. Even though it's vegan, you're getting all your protein, from the sesame seeds that we're going to be using because we're going to be using tahina or tahini for our creamy base. Um, the vegan creamy sauce is amazing and uh, come watch the video so you can see how to make it. Okay so the first thing we're going to make is the sauce and here are the ingredients you'll need. So I like to start with the tahina or tahini and I add about a tablespoon and then the soy sauce I like to use a light because it has just a little bit less sodium and about two teaspoons to a tablespoon or whatever feels right. Uh, some maple syrup, probably about one teaspoon maybe even half a teaspoon. Garlic powder to taste, whatever you feel like, but I probably did about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half. Then some sun butter. Nice tablespoon of that. And then about half a cup of water. Then I added a little bit of coconut amino so we could get a bit more of that soy sauce taste without the soy. And now I just blend it up. Any type of blender would do. And you get this nice creamy consistency and that's when you know it's done. And this is what it should look like. So now I'm sauteing my veggies. I decided to use snow peas and broccoli, but you can really do any vegetables you like with a pasta, Asian stir fry. And then I added some mushrooms. You always wanna start with the harder or frozen veggies first. Mushrooms come in later. And so now, since this doesn't take long, I'm just adding some hot water to my rice noodles while my veggies are sauteing. And the hot water just helps the rice noodles soften. You don't need to actually cook them, which is a great benefit of this recipe. And now I'm adding some garlic powder to my vegetables. You want to mix it all around, make sure it's all in there, and then we get the rice noodles in there. And we're going to mix it really well till all the flavors are combined. Oh, also I want to show you guys I added some spinach near the end. Um, it wilts up pretty quickly, so that is definitely one of the last things you can do. Pretty much when you put in the rice noodles. And now I am adding this amazing creamy vegan sauce. Yeah guys, doesn't that look amazing? So now let's just mix it all up in our pan with the flame on low. Um, we want all the flavors to really meld well together. And uh, here's a tip guys, um, this dish does tend to dry out a tiny bit while you have it in your fridge. So um, 
keep whatever remaining sauce you have or make a little bit extra sauce because it's extra yummy when you add it onto the dish when you're about to eat it. So you see how easy that was? It really, really is. It took very little time um, to make each of those components of this dish. And the amount that you make probably could last you a few days in the fridge. Um, this dish in general can last about up to four to five days in the fridge, but you might finish it before then. Because honestly, in my opinion, it's really delicious. And even though I don't like to eat the same food two or three days in a row, this is one of those things I could eat several times within a week for sure. So um, enjoy. Let me know what you think about this recipe, guys. Let me know if you want to see more like this, uh, more stir fries, more sautés, more veggie noodle dishes. Um, but I'll be bringing you all types of different uh, recipes to come. And um, I will see you soon. Bye.